customers here. Who's ready to go home with her? She's 5'2". Me. Mini. Very good. Me. Calf? Sure. Me too. Midi. Of course. What about you, Floor? You said she's 5'2". That's right, ladies. Your hemline matters a lot. But height is just one of the things to consider. Today, we're going to go over dresses of five different lengths and find out which one is the best for you. The floor length. Starting from this one because it's the most challenging, especially if you're shorter like myself. I'm 5'2". I get this question a lot. First, I want you to look at this dress. Clearly, this is not flattering. So you're gonna tell me, Wachi, this is way too long for you. I'm gonna disagree because look at this dress. These two both are the same length. Both are 50 inches long. Why does this one work? Have you noticed? The difference is not in the length. The difference is because this one cinches the waist. So here is the thing. Of course you can wear floor length dress, but what you want to do is to make sure it defines your waist. This length is best for two types of women. Either you are looking for something extremely casual, something you're gonna wear on the beach, or you're gonna wear it to something very formal because this is length for the evening gowns. Either way, if you want to wear this kind of dress, be prepared, stilettos please, wearing three inch heels. Anything lower than this, this is gonna be sweeping on the floor. And here is a secret. To look good in this lens dress, you wanna look for a slit. Because whenever you're standing or walking, the slit is gonna give the eye a peek into your legs and that's extremely flattering. Besides, the slit is creating a vertical line that's gonna guide the eye up and down, making you look longer and leaner. If you're short, my darling, make sure you're checking out my clothing line for women 5, 4, and under at petitdressing.com and use code SUMMER23 for 15% off your first order. Wachi, what about the maxi casual dresses on the beach? I'm not gonna wear stilettos with those. Of course not, but here is a solution for you. But overall, even though we can make it work, I have to be honest with you, it's kind of hard to walk in it. I constantly have to watch out so that I'm not gonna trip on my own dress. So if you're shorter than myself, then probably better off with the next length. The ankle length. Even though this is just several inches shorter, it makes a huge difference. It's a close twin to the floor length, but it's much more friendly, especially towards shorter women like myself. This still covers a lot of your skin, so there's a lot of fabrics. The key to look better in this style dress is to look for the lower neckline, especially if you have bigger bust, like my model Wendy. She's 30, 60, and she's 5'2". Lower necklines, because it's not covering you, this is gonna create a balance for all that extra fabrics and make sure you don't look swamped. Besides, it also draws more attention to your face, and that's one of the most flattering ways, especially for someone who is shorter. Okay, ladies, here's a top secret. Very few people know about this. If your goal is to look taller, this is the best length for you. I know, I know it sounds counterintuitive, especially if you're shorter like myself. This is the kind of lens I used to stay away from. But when you try it on, you're gonna notice this dress is covering you from your shoulder all the way to the ankle. So this is creating a very elongating, unbroken vertical line. You probably have it. This is one of the biggest trends in the last decade, but unfortunately, not the most flattering. I know, but there are ways to make it work. First, I want you to look at this dress. It's going straight up and down. No waist definition, not working. So now I'm gonna add a belt. Kind of helped, but not really, because this belt is dividing me in half and half, wrong place. Now, I'm gonna lift my belt. Do you notice? This makes a big difference because now my top half looks shorter than a third of my entire body and that's how you're gonna do it with this lens dress. 
Another major hack for you, look for different fabrics. Something like the lace. Because this is see-through, it's gonna make sure the eye doesn't think your legs are cut off under that midi lens. And that's how it can make sure your legs look elongated, even though this is a calf lens dress. Ah, one more. My favorite. Uneven hemlines. What I mean is to go for a midi dress that is shorter in the front, but longer in the back. Why you want it shorter in the front? Because this is gonna show your knees. And this is look like a shorter dress, perhaps even a mini dress from the front, but in the back, it's covering you, it's still on your calf. So this still look formal enough. For example, if you're going to a dress up party, but this is gonna make sure your hemline is not going horizontal and therefore the eye is not gonna think your legs look cut off. The mini dress. Here's the thing about mini dress. The main difference, it's different than any other dresses we talked about today. They show your knees. And why is this so important? Because the eye tells your body proportion based on, well, several things, based on where your waistline is and where your knees are. And that's how important it is to show your knees. It's giving the eye the signal. Basically, this is how long your legs. So this is the best lens for you if you got slender legs, you really want to show it off. Or, doesn't matter how your legs look, if you want to elongate your legs, especially if you're shorter like myself, who doesn't? Here's a hack I figured out through my own trial and error but nobody else has mentioned before. If you want to maximize your leg length, when you are wearing shorter mini lens dress, you want to cover up your arms. And why does it make a difference? Because whenever you're covering your arms, you are focusing the entire eye's attention on your legs. And because the rest of your body is covered, and the eye is gonna think your legs look even longer. If you are intrigued, if you haven't tried this before, if all your short dresses are short sleeves, try this today. Mini lens is also the best for those of you who don't like heels. With any other lens dresses, you're probably gonna look better with heels because heels improve our body proportion. They visually make our bottom half look longer and that's how it makes us appear longer. But with the mini lens, you really don't need that because the dress length itself by showing the knees is already making a big boost to our proportion. So you can feel comfortable wear any of your Flash shoes, sneakers, really doesn't matter. The knee lens dress. This is considered a very accommodating lens, so it's best for those of you, if you're looking for something that's modest, that doesn't look too short, but of course this is not too long either. For this lens dress, it's really easy to wear, no matter how tall you are, but if you want to make yourself look taller and leaner, I still highly recommend you look for something that's sitting higher than your natural waistline. The knee lens dress is best for you if you're looking for something that you can wear to just about anything because it covers your knees so they look long enough to be appropriate to wear to any occasion but also they're not too long so they don't look like overdressed. There are occasions where you don't want to come across you're trying too hard but you do want to look like you're dressed up enough for the occasion so knee lens is the best for you. No matter how tall you are Finding the right lens for your dresses is gonna make a very big difference on how you come across overall and how your proportion looks. But if you are shorter like myself, this is critical. This is something you have to implement in your everyday dressing. I do have a clothing line for those of you who are petite, who is five foot and under, and make sure you go to petitedressing.com and check out my clothing line for you today.